Hey guys, today's video is going to be a get ready with me work edition. So I have two jobs. Everyone was quite confused when I said that I work in Harrods now. I work in Harrods, but I also work in a Wembley Stadium. And it is kind of the same uniform, except from the top. The top I in Harrods is preferably all black, but you can sort of vary it to sort of navy, grey, whatever, but today I'm just sticking to a black turtleneck, but in Wembley Stadium I just wear a white shirt. Now I do wear pretty much the same makeup, same hair, like every single time, so you could say this is work edition for both jobs. Anyway, please let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments down below, but let's get on to this. So, before I carry on with the rest of my face makeup, I want to say I did apply the Huda Beauty foundation before I actually went on to this. I do have a review on my channel if you'd like to check it out. It is in the description. So, um, going on to bronzer, I'm using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit, but it's the Quickie Contour Stick, and I could not recommend a product more. I absolutely love this, and I definitely use it without fail like every single time I do my makeup it just sort of adds a bronze before I do any sort of dry powdery makeup on top and then I'm also using the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in chestnut this just kind of deepens the contour I would say the uh, Hoola bronzer was just more of a bronzer and this kind of adds a a little bit of contour to the cheekbones. Then onto concealer, I'm just placing the L'Oreal True Match Concealer under my eyes, my eyelids, on my sort of T-zone area, and then I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in custard just on top, because I don't know why, but I felt like the True Match Concealer, maybe because it is a bit out of date, it's a bit grim, but um, it is, uh, that might have, I felt like it moved the foundation a little bit. So, for setting my face, I'm just using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and genuinely baking it like underneath my eyes and just powdering it with the Morphe G7 brush on the rest of my face. Um, I found that this works the best and it doesn't dry out my under eyes, but if I did the same with the size of my face, like it just removes the product so quickly and it does not last long at all. So, on to bronzer now. I'm just using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit um, just to bronze up the whole face all together. So even the lighter bits of my face, it kind of evens everything out. Also doing it on my neck and everything because as you can tell by my hands, I'm super pale at the moment. I need to start fake tanning again. Then for contouring with powder, I'm using the Sleek Contour Powder Kit in dark. Um, I don't think it actually looks like the picture just there. Um, I have like a trio, I'm not sure, but it's the dark version. For my brows, I did run out today, but I used the Brow Archery from Soap and Glory. And I don't really want to go into that, but if you want a eyebrow routine, let me know. Now for eyeshadow, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm just using Raw Sienna with the brush that comes with it just to put into the crease because, I don't know, I really like the way it looks. I used to do this with just the bronzer that I used, but I like to use this now and it's really, really nice. It just adds something, I think, and it just makes the look a little bit less plain, which I feel like I do look quite plain on a day-to-day -day basis. So for mascara, I recently got this from Amira. She gave it to me for my birthday, so thank you so much, Amira, for getting me this. It's the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I really do like it. I never actually paid any attention to it whilst when I've been like makeup shopping before, but I absolutely love it. And I'm mixing it with my fave um, Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I love the brush on this, and I'm also using an older Maybelline um, skyscraper brush um, because it just helps even out the lashes a bit more. On to highlight, I'm just un highlighting under my brow with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Palette and I'm using a small sort of accent brush just to put in the cream highlighter, so I think it's called, it's called Fiji. Um, I'm just putting that on first and then also using this MAC uh, highlighter brush. I think it's actually a contour brush to be fair, but I like using it with highlighter and I'm just putting that on my cheekbones and my nose just patting it on. I like to put the most of this on and then a little bit less of the... Um, powder say shells highlighter because I don't know I think when it is too powdery with highlight it can look a bit too much I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you guys know what I mean but in person it does look a little bit less um, seamless as the cream one does so I'm just doing the same on my under eye by the way and then after that onto the lips I like to use this NYX lip pencil um, it's in nude beige and to be fair, I've lost this and two other NYX ones, which have become my like recent favourites so many times in the past two weeks, but um, they all kind of are similar. So anyway, I'm using this and I kind of just outline my lips a little bit. I do drag it inside because I don't know, I don't feel like I want to use like a full on product at work because it's kind of hard to upkeep and I am fussy about how like 
my makeup looks generally but especially lips like if it doesn't look like I want it I'm gonna keep checking up and I don't really want to have to be doing that at work so this is quite easy to keep up so that's done for makeup but hair now I'm using this Aussie Miracle Moist conditioning spray just to condition my hair I'm using it a few different oils I'm using the weightless dry oil from OGX which is just the argan oil but I use this the most because I find this spray is really really nice then just for some shine oil I'm using it from Tresemme this is just running out but I'm kind of just finishing it off and a little bit thicker of an oil is the penetrating oil from OGX it's the same one as the spray but in a thicker version and I just like to put them all focusing on the ends and sort of dragging it up to the mid length of my hair and I just blow dry it I use my tangle teaser and I just drag it through the ends of my hair first whilst pulling it kind of higher and higher um, I don't know a lot of people have asked me about like straightening my hair my hair is naturally like dead straight you can see I just brush it whilst I'm blow drying it um, it's a bit it's strange I don't know why like actually I do know why my whole family's hair is just completely straight so it makes sense but um, whilst it's wet it's slightly wavy I don't really know if that makes sense but yeah I th I'm sure you know what I mean but um, yeah instead of straightening it I literally just blow dry it so it stays like that Okay, so that's my makeup, hair, everything done. Um, I just need to put a few things in my bag. I don't really know if this counts as like a get ready with me, but I kind of want to make it like a morning routine slash get ready with me. So I always have to have my foundation on me because I feel like I like it better than I'm reapplying with concealer. Um, my contour stick from Benefit and also a stipple brush just to apply that. Some matte powder, I can't live without that. My contour powder from Sleek. Also just a blush brush to apply that and my NYX uh, lip liner which I just put on just around my lips just to kind of give something there. have this in my little fur pouch and then I have my long chalk one and then my work one inside here. So I've just in my inside one, I don't really know if you want like a what's in my bag video because I feel like that would be a bit, I don't know, no one really be interested but I've got my oh so sexy um, body spray from Victoria's Secret, just some water, lip balm and time sheets so that's kind of it for in there I also do wear these shoes to work but um, I want to wear trainers on the way so I'm as comfortable as possible because anyone in retail knows your feet just die at the end of the day so I'd rather you know prepare myself for that and wear some trainers instead thank you so much for watching that video guys i hope you did enjoy it please let me know like i said before what other videos you'd like to see down in the comments down below also if you haven't already make sure to subscribe i'm trying my hardest to keep consistent with my videos whilst i'm doing everything else like i'm very busy but i want to make sure youtube is the priority so please make sure you subscribe and check out my other socials instagram snapchat everything like that hope you all have a good week and i will see you in the next video bye